Do you know the difference between amener and emmener in French? Well, today we are going to practice just that. You can get the support guide available with this lesson if you join the community. So click on the join button below. Right, let's have a look at the difference between amener and emmener. But I think we should start with the verb mener first, because in amener and in emmener, you have the same stem, mener. And mener means to lead, but it also means to carry out. So let's have a look at this, mener, and these examples. Ce chemin mène au village. Ce chemin Men au village. Now, men here is interpreted as leads, okay? So, this path leads to the village. Now, you will notice that the way we conjugate money has a bit of a change of um, a spelling when we come to conjugating it. So, where you say money as in to lead, when you want to conjugate it, it becomes je mène. There are a few words, verbs like that in French that uh, has to be changed when conjugated, such, 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 such as Acheté becomes achète, so we drop, you know, the sh sound and we add an accent to make the et sound, achète, okay? But it's the same for omni, you're going to see that in a minute. So you just need to know how to conjugate these verbs. So je mène, tu mènes, il mène, nous menons, drop the uh, accent, vous menez, and then il mène, okay? So ce chemin mène au village, this path leads to the village, okay? And if we want to use it as the meaning carrying out, we could say, il mène une mission importante. He is carrying out an important mission. So, this is what the verb mener on its own mean, okay? But if you were to use the prefix a to it, it becomes a mener. In a mené, the prefix a is used to emphasize the destination. So, a mené means to take someone to a place, usually leaving him or her there. Okay, so you're taking someone and you're leaving them there. And it only applies to people or animals, not to object. For object, we use the verb apporter. Okay, and I have produced another video about apporter versus emporter. So have a look at this if you have the time. Right, for example, you could say, I take the children to the nursery, okay, to take someone to somewhere, okay. So, j'amène les enfants à la crèche, puis je vais au travail. I take the children to the nursery, and then I go to work. So meaning I am taking them and I am leaving them behind, okay? So they are not coming with me. And this is the difference you'd see in a minute between amene and omene. So I'm taking them there, amen, okay, les enfants à la crèche, et ensuite, and then I carry on uh, my daily routine, okay? I go off to work, okay? Now, in amen, it's also used in the expression, qu'est-ce qui t'amène? Qu'est-ce qui t'amène? Which means, what brings you here? Okay, so, so that you are aware. Not that we are going to practice this today, okay? But so you're aware that we, all <coughs> we also use it for what brings you here. Okay, so this is amoni. So what is the difference between amoni and omoni? Now let's have a look at omoni. In omoni, the prefix en is used to emphasize the starting point point, okay? It refers to leaving a place and taking someone along with you. So it does mean to take someone somewhere as well, okay? But it means that actually we are going together, okay? It only applies to people and animals, not to object. For object, we use emporter. Again, have a look at apporter versus emporter uh, video if you want to know a little bit more about these two verbs. So... Tonight, I'm taking you out to the restaurant. Ce soir, je t'emmène au restaurant. And you see that we are conjugated, conjugating in the same way, okay? Mener, as in the infinitive, becomes men, okay? For je, je t'emmène, tu 
mon men, etc. Ok? So tonight I'm taking you out to the restaurant. Ce soir, je t'emmène au restaurant. Ok. So we've had a look at mener, to lead or to carry out, emmener, to take someone but you're with them, amener, to take someone but leaving them there. Let's have a look at my examples here. Tom, and then we want mener, emmener ou amener son fils à l'école. Which one is the right one? Tom, and then Tex, his son, and that means his son, and I'm going to write it here, to school. So, logically, when you take someone to school, you don't go to school with them. So, which verb is the best here? It is amener. Absolutely, amener. Okay, so Tom amène son fils à l'école. Okay, that will be the most appropriate uh, verb here. Now, that's the next one. Tu me and then au cinéma. So, it's a question. You take me to the cinema? Okay, are you taking me to the cinema? But by this, I'm assuming they mean both of us. We are all going to the cinema. Come with us to the cinema. We are going together to the cinema. Knowing this, then which verb is it? Mener, emmener ou amener? Well, it has to be emmener. So we need to conjugate it in this way. Tu m'emmènes au cinéma? Tu m'emmènes au cinéma? Why? Because actually we want you to take me to the cinema, but I want you to come with, okay? If it was um, just that you wanted someone to take you to the cinema and drop you there, it would be amener. Do you understand? To m'amène au cinéma, as in give me a lift, okay? Give me a lift to the cinema. But that's not what it means here, probably. Or we don't know. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Ma fille est malade. Je dois, and then the verb, chez le médecin. Ma fille est malade. My daughter, and see, mon fils here, son fils, and ma fille here. Okay, daughter. Okay, daughter. Okay, ma fille est malade. My daughter is sick. I must, je dois. So, mener, emmener ou amener chez le médecin. Now, chez le médecin means at the doctors, okay? At the doctors. So, think about that. Would you take your daughter and leave her there with the doctors? No, you would actually come with her, okay? So, in that case, it would be emmener. Okay, je dois l'emmener. Now, you may wonder, but how come this time you're keeping the verb as it is? That is because it is used as its infinitive form. Why? Because we have I must. So, I must to take her. I know that's not right in English, but that's exactly what you need to remember, is that I must plus infinitive. So, je dois l'emmener chez le médecin. Can you see the difference? And now to finish, let's have a look at the next example. Ce bus vous something à la gare du Nord. This bus, bus, bus take, takes you to the uh, gare du Nord, okay, to gare du Nord in Paris. Now, if the bus takes you, okay, is the bus staying with you at the end of it? No, it's going to drop you there, okay? So which verb is it? Emmener ou Amener. Well, it has to be amener. So, ce bus vous amène à la gare du Nord. This bus is taking you to the gare du Nord. Okay, so quick recap here. When you want to say to take someone somewhere but stay with them, like take them to the restaurant, it's amener. If you want to drop them somewhere or give them a lift and left, leave them there, it is Amener. If you want to carry out something, it's money. Okay, can you see the difference? Okay, that's it for me. To get the support guide, check out my community on YouTube where you need to join to get all the support guides available with these lessons. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous.